Mr. Spock I want teams on the ground to bring relief supplies to these people. They are to be armed with phasers at all times because of the dangerous animals on the surface. Do you have any theories about those? They appear to be mutations caused by radiation from the rift. The planet has been periodically bathed in radiation from the rift, causing the mutations. So what have you found as far as the aliens on the other side? They remain unidentified. The space hole between the two universes is maintained by a large orbiting satellite. It would be risky for a starship to traverse it in order to destroy it. This would undoubtedly be reacted negatively by whoever they are. He means it would anger them. Dr. McCoy, I don't know why you insist on your asinine translations of what I have already said. That's enough you two. Both of you have work to do. Mr. Scott, anything to add? I Captain. Me wee bangs are acting strangely near the rift. I recommend not going through it to destroy the structure. We will try to take it easy on your children Mr. Scott. I want a plan gentlemen. I suggest putting a demolition team on a shuttlecraft and sending them through the rift to attach limpet mines with timers to blow it up. The rift will dissipate too quickly so we won't be able to come through. The damage will have to be done with our people on our side. Jim shouldn't we check to see if there are people there who will be incinerated if the rift is destroyed and the star stays in their universe? Dr. McCoy our time is limited. It won't be more than a few weeks at best before the supernova occurs. Bones is right, but only short range. We are not responsible for their universe. I will outfit the proper science teams. I suggest two shuttles, one to begin the demolition work and the other to explore any nearby planets for life. Shuttle Columbia approaching a planet orbiting a white dwarf star with one natural satellite. Life forms detected, humanoid, primitive. I suggest setting down on the planet out of sight. Agreed. I see a small village and a clearing where we can land unobserved. The village is a short hike away. Let's go see. Readings. What is that statue? Primitive people, no food production. Interesting. There seems to be technology involved here. Forged metal implements. Processed food. Welcome visitors. I am Callahan of the Moon People. Please introduce yourselves. We are from the United Federation of Planets. We are concerned because your world is near a star that is about to go supernova. I don't know this word supernova. I have an office that I keep concealed. Would you please be my guest? A supernova is where a star explodes with extreme force, giving off huge amounts of radiation. This one, if it remains in your universe, will destroy your planet. You use strange words that I don't understand. I must ask you to leave here. Your ideas are not wanted. Well I guess that's that. Obviously they don't want our help. The readings I got suggest severe mental impairment and genetic damage, no doubt due to continued exposure to radiation. Portal coming up. This is an impressive control room. We will get as many readings as we can and then start setting charges. It's the other shuttle calling. They found a civilization. We need to return because we cannot interfere. We cannot interfere, since those people most likely created the station. I do have an idea however. We can move the star far away. 
Have you gone daft, Mr. Spock? My engines couldn't move that star. Engineer Scott, I am aware of this. I have been going over the data from the portal and the station. The ship's power can enhance the portal. When the star goes through, it will emerge in an area of space that is relatively empty, and is 75 light years from here. I am thinking that you are going to tell me there is a problem here. Correct, Captain. The control station is designed to cease functioning and self-destruct after the star goes through the portal. We will have to follow closely behind. I don't like the sound of that. It sounds like Spock wants us to go into their universe. It's bad enough that I have to use that crazy molecular scrambler. Now I am being told to go through a hole in space. Dr. McCoy, please restrain your illogical rants. We will have to do this from the other side, follow the star through the portal and then warp out of the area as it will probably trigger the supernova. What if we are not able to get out of there before that star blows? Then we will be vaporized. Captain, I have to agree with Dr. McCoy on this one. It may take some time to get my engines back online. We may be at impulse for some time. Spock I want everything double and triple checked. The alternative is to explain why we have 11 years to evacuate the Earth. 11.6 of your years, Captain. It is the same pattern of genetic damage, though not as bad as that on the other side of the rift. This patient is showing cancer of the spleen. Prepare a shot of anti-cancer serum and begin regeneration. Will I be alright? Can you do anything? The nurse will have your cancer eliminated in about an hour. Then we will take you back to your people. Many diseases like cancer have been cured in our society. I just hope our people are doing as well on the surface.
one half impulse power. Go through the rift. Battle stations. We are in contact with the rift. Going through. We are on the other side of the looking glass. Here comes the start. Engineering maintain full power. Direct beam to required coordinates. Engineering. Direct every bit of power that we have at the rift. Minimal life support. It is working. The rift is showing a sufficient shift. The star is going through. Follow it through helm, only as close as necessary. We have succeeded in our task. Neutrino emissions rising rapidly. Supernova is imminent. Warp speed. Get us away from it. I can give you three quarters light speed on impulse. The warp drive needs 15 minutes to regenerate. I need warp drive now. Maybe he wants us to get out and push. Okay everyone, let's get as much speed as we can out of her. Speed now 0.95 C shields at full power. Distance Mr. Chekhov. Can we outrun it? Yes Captain. We are about 5 astronomical units away. That will give Mr. Scott enough time to get the warp drive online, even if we were sitting still. Set course for Groombridge 34AB. Go to warp as soon as possible. So what do you think Mr. Spock? Did we do the right thing or the wrong one? We could have declared it an act of war and destroyed the station. I find it more desirable that we preserved both systems, while protecting ours. That is in the finest tradition of the Federation and Starfleet. I would have liked to look around and learn more. I am sure we will have ample more opportunities to go where no man has gone before. Such opportunities can be rare and short-lived, so we need to make the best of them while we can. <laughs>